Welcome to my first cooking video, Cooking with Chris. So today I'm gonna make hash brown breakfast cups. And what I like to use, and this is all my way, this is, I'm an amateur, okay? So you will need this some cheese. I'm gonna be using some Canadian bacon, butter, one pound of hash browns frozen, pepper, salt, red bell pepper, green bell pepper, two eggs, onion, and I will be using a little olive oil to fry up some of the ingredients. So let's get started. Okay, so the first step is preheating your oven to 475 degrees. Let's start with the hash browns. I'm preparing those. One pound shredded hash brown frozen, and then you can thaw it out the night before, or two nights before, whatever you choose. Now we're going to separate our eggs. You need the egg whites from the two eggs, and this is gonna go in the hash brown. I do it with my hand, just make sure your hands are clean. like so and I don't like to waste food so I'll be using these eight um, yolks later so go wash my hands okay now we're gonna get two tablespoons of this butter put that up to the side Put it in the bowl. I'm gonna put, pop this in the microwave for like 30 seconds just to melt it because it's gonna go into the hash browns. Now I should... melted the butter. Actually, I'm gonna stir this a little bit. I want to add my salt and pepper. About a half a teaspoon. Like I said, if you like pepper, you can add more. If not, it's all up to you what you like. Gonna mix that up a little bit. remember if you're gonna put more salt that cheese already is salty so and well the cheese has salt so you don't want to make it too salty so take that into consideration okay I have the egg whites and I'm just gonna break them up you can do it with a fork or a whisk the point is to just break them up put that aside so I have my butter, two tablespoons, my hash brown, and my egg whites. And I've already 
salted and put pepper in, on the inside the hash browns. Now I'm gonna just put all the mixture in here. Put my egg whites, my butter. Give it a nice whirl. Taste it. Mix it. I'm going to butter my, you're going to need a, a large muffin pan or you can use a cupcake pan and make smaller cups, but you will need a non-stick muffin or cupcake pan. Like I said, preferably non-stick. Okay, so now we're going to butter our pan. So the cupcake, not the cupcake, the breakfast cups do not stick and they easily come off when they are done. So I'm just going to grab a pastry brush and just line, just butter that up nice, grease it up with the butter. Yes, coin. I'm an amateur, I'm not, I'm just trying to bring my take on some recipes that I've learned over the 40 plus years. I'm using this butter, it's my first time using it, so you can use any butter you like. So now I'm just going to put the hash browns in the cup and then I'm going to mold them just how I want them. You want to, as you're molding them into the pan, you want to press and just leave like a thin layer so the hash browns cook evenly. So just try to mold them and thin out the, the mix here, the hash brown mix. I'm going to do that for all six. And then, you know, just accordingly, if some need a little bit more, you toss in a little bit more. The point is to use up all of the hash brown. And then we're gonna pop these in the oven. My oven's preheated to 475. We're gonna put these in for 15 minutes until they've, or until they've browned up a little. to make their clean. What the heck? Why not? Mm -hmm. 
So I'm gonna finish doing this and I'll be right back. So now I've molded my hash brown into the to the pan just the way I want them. And they're gonna go into the oven. 15 minutes, 475 degrees. And while I do that, I'm gonna prepare the filling. Be right back. So here's where my onions and my bell peppers will come into play. I'm just gonna chop up the Canadian bacon. Make sure, again, your hands are clean, people. Nobody want food poisoning. I just cut them up into small little squares so you could do whatever you want and you can also put whatever you want as your filling. You can do spinach, bacon. This is just what I choose to do because I like it. Hold on. Yes. Look at all that goodness that's going to come out. All this fruits of my labor. The fruits of my labor. I'm just going to break it up because I'm going to be frying this all together. Alright, so I have my pan here. I'm going to turn on the heat to a medium high. Wait for it to get hot. And then I'm going to cook up my filling, which is the ham, the green peppers, the red peppers, the onion, while my hash browns are browning inside of the oven for 15 minutes. You can feel with the top of your hand when it gets hot. And then I'll be putting some oil, olive oil, whatever oil you like. Okay, so we're gonna put a little bit of olive oil fry this nutritious goodness all up. We'll start with the onions. Mm -hmm. We're going to let it, the oil heat up just a little bit more. Go ahead and add your onions. Medium 
but a little bit more olive oil. Fry up my ham. for brunch for the weekend. If you have time during the week, go for it. It's worth, it's worth your time and effort, let me tell you. going to wait for my hash browns to be ready and be right back. Okay, so I just pulled my hash browns out of the oven. So you see they've browned around the edges a little too much, but and if you feel that the you get a pot holder. Remember to always you to use a pot holder when grabbing your hot pan. I've been guilty of burning myself for not doing that. You can, if you feel you need, they need to be uh, adjusted or reshaped. Go ahead and do that with a spoon. Get it primed and ready for the filling. And now you need eggs for the filling. I forgot to mention that. You need, two eggs. you need about six eggs, six eggs total. I've scrambled them and we're going to mix all this together and fill in our cups, our hash brown cups. I'm going to mix in all the eggs. You might want to use a larger bowl. Just use these for now. You want to mix everything together, the uncooked scrambled eggs, your filling of ham and peppers. You just mix really well. I wouldn't recommend, like I said, adding salt to this because the ham, the cheese, and the hash browns already have salt. So you don't want to over salt food. Okay, put that aside. 
start filling in my hash browns. Ta-da! You want to leave room. Okay, so I make about four with the scrambled egg mixture and then two, I like to just crack an egg over it for myself over easy, but not everybody in my household likes the eggs over easy. So I kind of mix it up, but they'll cook it evenly at the same time. Alrighty, and we're gonna stick this back in the oven, again at 475 degrees for about eight to 10 minutes or until you feel the eggs are cooked. Maybe your oven temperature might vary from mine, so you could probably, if it's, you know, just check on them about eight minute mark, and then maybe 10 minutes if you need a little more time, like in two minute intervals and check on them. You don't wanna overcook. Okay, I just put the muffin, the muffin pan with my hash brown cups in the oven for 10 minutes. In the meantime, you like my little cooling rack here for my pans? Got it at Macy's on sale for $8. In the interim, I'm gonna start cleaning up. That's what I do. So when it's all said and done, I'm not left with a pile of dishes and dirty counters. Okay, so I pulled out my my tray here with my hash brown cups and I just want to see how the eggs cooking see how it's still not fully cooked here it's gonna need maybe two more minutes I took it out at eight minutes but that's how you can check and since it's scrambled eggs it doesn't matter if you mess this up I can tell these aren't done because they're still well I mean it depends how you like your eggs but they can still stand to be cooked a little bit longer if you like them really runny you can pull those out so I'm just mixing the egg mixture a little just so it cooks all the way through. And then I'm gonna pop it in the oven for about two more minutes and then I'm gonna put the cheese slices on top and then back in the oven. Okay, so now they're ready and I'm just gonna put a slice of Swiss cheese on each one. And you don't have to use this kind of cheese, like I said, you can put whatever cheese you want. It can be shredded, it can be shredded cheddar. This is just what I like for myself and my family. We enjoy these for like a Sunday brunch or just breakfast. Just make it fit in there. And I'm just gonna pop it back into the oven just so the cheese melts a little bit more. You won't need too much. And as you can see, they're done. The cheese has melted. And I'm going to wait about 5 to 10 minutes for them to cool off. I also forgot to mention if the edges overbake a little too much, which is prone to do, you can just take it right off. It comes off really easy. Or with the little, with the butter knife, just kind of, unless you really like the crispy end bits, then by all means. So I'm just gonna clean it up and then we'll be ready to serve and enjoy our meal. Okay, so I'm ready to serve this up. What you wanna do is, you wanna kind of, with a spatula or any kind of utensil that'll help you just kinda these off the, the hash brown cup. Scrumptious hash brown breakfast cups. There you go. They're coming off real easy and nicely because I greased, I buttered the pan up. Remember in the beginning? And this is what they look like. There's the side here. Let me show you.
nice and browned and molded to perfection. Now I'm gonna get a bite of this. Ready? Mmm. Mmm, oh god. This is heaven on a plate. No joke. Mmm. The fruits of my labor. <laughs>